Eleanor Roosevelt never squirted. <laughs> you think well, Helen Keller would be a squirter? Your... Type in how close Japanese and Chinese are to each other. Why do Jews control the weather? <laughs> what are you doing, fat fuck? I didn't say that. No, I did, definitely didn't say that. 100%. <laughs> We are supported by NASCAR. Now that summer is finally here, get the grill ripping, invite the crew over for a couple cold beverages, and don't miss out on your chance to witness history by tuning in to the Ally 400 on Sunday, June 25th on NBC. And we are back. And we're getting to the bottom of this whole squirting thing. (laughs) Is it real? Well, I just talked to a squirter. It's funny that you bring that up. Was I sitting with that squirter in the lobby earlier? <laughs> no. Um, but this particular squirter was just saying that they really are messy and that they'll empty their bladder, like really empty their bladder. And they go, this is why I can't. They're like, I have completely empty. And then just streams of whatever is inside of them comes shooting out afterwards. So they're like, it can't be pee. I mean, there's all these women that say that. So I don't, I don't know, man. I mean, it just seems like it seems like uh, seems like cow tipping to me. Yeah, you know, cow tipping isn't real. What do you mean? It's not real. How do you mean it's not? No real? one's ever tipped a cow. Yeah, they have. Nope, no yes. one's ever tipped a cow. I lived Put it in, in the Wis- fucking comments. Put it in the fucking comments. I lived in Wisconsin. Then we're gonna bro. get a bunch of liars in the comments. No one's ever tipped a cow. No one's ever tipped a cow. I lived in Wisconsin. Pull up a video of cow tipping. I bet you can't find one. I bet you can't find fucking one. Not is cow tipping real? Just cow. The myth explained. Can cows be tipped? Yeah, you can. Urban legend. <sighs> it makes me question every dude I ever grew up with that talked about cow tipping. I've seen it. You've never seen it? In Wisconsin. You've never seen it? Yeah. You've never seen it. What happened is it got imprinted on you, and you remember hearing so many stories about it as a kid you think that so? you believe it's real. Yeah. Okay. That's how this, tip that cow. Here we go. Let me see, it's cow, let me see a cow get tipped. Hmm. This is our Wyoming life. What a dick move if you really do. If those are your cows and then you spend the day just tipping them over. Yeah, it's terrible. But worth it. I would love um, living in Wyoming. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to. You are? I think I'm going to move there. You think you're going to stay in? They drop their babies. What? Okay. Cow tipping. Here we go. Real or fake? Oh, okay. They could tip that well, one. No, it's apparently they don't sleep standing up. They lay down. Bambi here. They said in the subtitle, sorry to burst your bubble, but it's fake. Cow, cow tipping is fake. Cow tipping's fake. And so is squirting. Squirt squirting's fake. It's fake. It's fucking fake. It's it's women. It's it's first of all, I've never met a real woman that squirts. I've only been a real six, woman? Like a real woman. <laughs> not it's a, just it's not just a trans po- woman? it's just porn stars. <laughs> Don't get me started there. No. By the way, if what if that what like Who just said this? <laughs> Who just said they were a big squirter? Fuck. Who was it? Was she on the show? Steph. Yeah. Who's Steph? Steph Tolov. She said that she's a pull big... up a picture of Steph Tolov. She's a comic. She's not no, a no, no, I, no. I, I bet she. Oh no, I, I'm definitely not going to believe her. Why? No, because it's because it's a bit. It's a bit. She's a comic comic. She's not like a. I thought she was a porn star comic. She's a regular comic. No, I know, she's I a know real her. comic. She's yeah, really funny. She's a regular comic. And she's just doing a bit. Dude, she's doing a bit. It's squirting isn't real. It's not real. I don't believe it. Can we get her on the phone? Can we get her on the phone? Yeah, le- yeah. let me work on it. Okay. I know Steph told her she's funny as fuck. Yeah, she's super funny and she squirts. No, 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 no. Look at her. It's a bit. You never you never had... Same okay. way like Red Man. Red, she's, I'm not saying that she's like the equivalent of Red Band, but the Red Band would be like, you know, jerk off and spider... Like, it's it's a it's yeah. a thing. It's, a, it's like donkey punch. It's not real. You never been with somebody who was like on the verge of squirting? No, even? no, no, no. Like, I mean, like a pool is like in the in the bed afterwards? I've had, I've had women come like, like yeah. I've had it, I've had stuff come out, but not in a plethora of like squirt, 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 squirt well, like yeah, on yeah. the wall. Yeah, well, yeah. Like I've had stuff come out, obviously. So what do you think is happening? You think it's just piss when that happens? I think it's piss or I think that what they do is they fill their vaginas up with water, uh-huh. like a douche, yeah. and then they squirt that out and it's a bit for, uh, for, uh, for camera effect. The, so the porn girls. Yeah. It's not real. Okay. I mean, I'm just saying, and look, and I know that everyone's going to well, you don't know how to fuck right. Well, or you're getting lied to like cow tipping. I just, I'm, 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 don't have her number. 
But I just well, emailed her. Well, you know what? I'll send her a DM right now. Hold on, because I have this. Why don't we just call Nikki Glazer? She'd be honest. Well, does she say that she does? No, but Nikki would, if, if anyone's squirting, it's Nikki. Yeah, but Steph just told us about it. Yeah, but no, but I, I think it's like a thing, like, so not not all women can squirt, or all women can squirt, and just some don't have the ability to squirt. Um, hold on, let me see if, if she responds to this. Just give me one second. Do you think in the 1800s there were squirters? Do you think in in the 1500s that there were squirters? How come we never heard about squirters <laughs> until right now? Well, like, how come there was no squirters back in the day? How come Shakespeare didn't write about squirting? Right. How come we just now hear about squirting? Squir- if squirting's been around forever, I don't remember any porn up until like the last 10 years with squirting in it, right? You never yeah. saw squirting before that. True. So when when the fuck did this happen? Or is it just a thing where they're like, and here's the thing, they're never going to tell us the truth. They're never. They're always going to lie to us. The girls, yeah, because it's it's a way to make our. But she has no good. reason to buy. Right? No, no, she's just a comic. I understand, but if she tells you about her real, you're going to be like, "This is still a bit." She's on a podcast. Okay, like this. If she pulled you aside at the I comedy club like, and, and grabbed you and said, "Hey, Tom, yeah. I squirt like fucking crazy," yeah. then you'd be like, "This isn't a bit." Yeah, but when you're on stage or when you're on a podcast, so it kind of feels like, and I'm not saying you're doing this, but it kind of feels like. You're waiting for someone to pull you aside and squirt in your face and be like, "See, that was real." If, if I could get, if Leanne could squirt, I believe it. And if anyone was going to squirt, it's Leanne. Why? Oh man. What? She's on this thing. Yeah. I probably shouldn't say what it is, but your wife's on it too. <laughs> yeah, I just talked to your wife about it. Okay. And our sex life is fucking bonkers right now. Really? I mean bonkers like it is every night and sometimes twice a day jesus man every fucking night at all i i thought this morning like i'm I, I like this morning she got in bed with me and i had to fly at like five in the morning i fly at seven my car picked me up at five forty-five. she got in bed at five and i was like here she fucking goes again this fucking woman she's lost a ton of weight so she feels good about her body and whatever this thing is that they gave her to regulate her hormones yeah is fucking made her sex drive insane so you're happy i'm fucking through the roof yeah i mean we're having like monster sessions but but quick, having said that, but having very said that quick? When, when she hasn't no no the other night was very long really you always really, tell me that you're I, the quickest well when you start having sex a lot yeah you oh, start, you start yeah. going like oh i can last a little longer oh, when yeah. you get it once every two weeks you're like Neh. yeah yeah and so um and i think that that has made her want it more because i'm lasting longer so and i'm telling you right now I don't know the right way I'm supposed to talk like this, but when that woman, when that woman, when, when that woman gets ready to eat, <laughs> she fucking is man versus food. Like she doesn't have silent, quiet orgasms. No. If anyone was going to squirt, it would be Leanne. So she really shouts, lets you know it's, it's happening. It is fucking game time. Really? Yeah. It's game time. And I just, I just, I know that like, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like, where? Why is it just shown up in in reality right now? Like, yeah. why is it just shown up? Where were the Where were all our Where were the baby boomers that squirted? <laughs> it's, it's not a bad point. Can I you think, imagine if you were Martha Washington and you squirted? You imagine the back then when you could hit women. Can you'd be we like, call, What the fuck did you do to my bad old can lady? Can we call your mom? No, and, no. Well, hold on. Just let me finish. I just ask her if any of her friends have ever talked about squirting. No. My, first of all, my mom's on a plane. Okay. Um, your mom's a better question because your mom. She's, she's not even gonna know what it is, and it's gonna be weird. Almost did you say squirting? Yeah, yeah. She's not gonna. Isn't there like a? Uh, is there someone in that age range we can call that you know? Who can we call? <coughs> we need like a real. Don't we need a person. Like Janine Garofalo would be honest with us. Okay. Margaret Cho would be honest with us. I believe you. Sarah Silverman. How come Sarah Silverman? How come all these comics that we know weren't talking about squirting ten years ago? It's, I look, I'm saying it's I mean, a valid it's, point. You know, it's like it just showed up and now all of a sudden everyone fucking squirts. I don't know. You know, <laughs> let's pivot. Until she calls, let's pivot and talk about something else until she calls. It's, uh, I was thinking about this a lot lately is I don't think, I don't think people understand that like, uh, I, I, I don't know the right way to say this, but the, it was very easy to say something, uh, I had a girl at the airport today. 
I apologize to this young lady if she feels like I'm calling her out, uh, where she came up to me and goes, you're not going to whip your dick out, are you? What? I swear to God. And I went, excuse me? She goes, you're not going to whip your dick out, are you? And I was like, huh? And she's like, I'm a big fan. And I was like, you're, you could have just started with that. And I, I don't know what the whip, I don't know if I, I don't know if that's a joke that I've done or something. Yeah. When did but I, I was like, yeah, I was like, okay. And then I'm already on my heels. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Secret time. If you want to get my attention, uh, just say something nice. And then usually, so I have Victoria, you know, Victoria, yeah, sure. Victoria does all my social media because I, it's, it's not worth it for me to read anything because it's like live by the sword, die by the sword. If I, if I see something negative about myself, I, I don't deal with it. Well, I focus on it. Yeah. And if I see something positive, I do kind of glaze by it. And sometimes you get positive things like, the, the band Sublime hit, hit me up. But like yeah. the, like uh, fucking John Fogarty hit me up. And then Victoria always flags those, and then she'll send them to me. And, and then they make me feel really good. Yeah, you're probably right. But it also is like the bigger point of like, if you're trying to get somebody's attention, it's a weird way to do it's, it. it was a, it's a bizarre way to do it. It could, you know, like I, like, uh, I, I sent to someone, uh, I, I was just talking to your wife about this. So we're, me and your wife are both big Pixies fans. I can't believe you are. I love the Pixies, dude. I love the Pixies. And I also like uh, Frank Black when he did went solo. Mm. He's the lead singer of the Pixies. Yeah. And so I um, just DM'd him. And I said, you know, hey, uh, m your music has brought me th so much joy through the years. I hope you have a great day. It's, just, it's the coolest thing to say to someone. You didn't go, you're the fattest piece of shit I've ever seen? I did not. <laughs> hey, you're the fattest man alive. Frank Black, I fucking... What are you doing, fat fuck? I didn't say that. No, I did, definitely didn't say that. I didn't say that. And you know what? I'm glad I didn't. I said something nice. And all I did was just a compliment. I don't need a reply. Yeah. I just comment. I do that a lot. I do that a lot where I'll send out DMs to people that just bring me joy. The band Goose. I'm in love with the band Goose, right? I'm in love. If you haven't listened to Goose, check out Goose. Dude, they are fucking awesome. By the way, I have a huge announcement. What? I am listening to a band with white people. Who? Who? Uh, main skin? You fuck yeah, main skin. Uh, I didn't know. And yeah. I, I, I fucking. Uh, I have. I just no. downloaded all main skin <laughs> no. shit too. <laughs> no, that's just the wrong spelling. I understand. I understand it. Um, M A. Try M A N E in one word, and uh, there's it's, yeah. Um, yeah, they, they have a lot of uh, a lot of viral uh, b music that gets played on TikTok. Oh, really? Yeah, there's one real that. good one of, of Angelina Jolie and her daughter listening to Main Skin and singing along. Dude, it's really I didn't, cool. I didn't know. I don't know. I know they've been out for a while. Yeah, but, they're awesome. But um, it was it was. I think it's dope. I really but, like it. So I hit up. So I think I, it, I think it's pretty big of me to listen to a white. You group. should hit them up on DMs. Yeah. Say, hey, I'm a big fan. And you guys are white. And you guys are white. <laughs> and I've never done this. I don't this. normally like white people. Yeah. <laughs> you're my first whites. Yeah, you're and my first whites. So I hit up Frank Black. I did it with the band Goose, but I like I hit up Frank Black. So you should bring me joy. For so many years, I enjoy listening to music. I hope you have a great day. And then he DMs back. His, it was actually his wife or his girlfriend DMs back and says, uh, hey, we're brand new to this Instagram thing. Thank you so much for the kind message. Uh, me and Frank hadn't weren't familiar with who you are, but we've now been watching your YouTube videos. You're hilarious. If you'd like to come to a show, please let us know. We'd love to have you as, at one. And then I did the same thing to the band Goose. Just like I th I'm, I'm, I'm going through a fucking moment with you guys. You're fucking awesome. You're all I'm listening to. And then they hit me back. Hey, uh, you're, uh, I'm, they're playing Red Rocks the night after I play Red Rocks. Yeah. But they're like, if you'd ever like to come to a show, hit us up. That kindness. Make someone feel good. Do you remember the guy that did uh, uh, Burnt Fat Fuck or Burnt Chrysler? Do you remember? Do you remember the guy that did the fucking uh, the? He had the Twitter handle, yeah, Burnt yeah. Chrysler, yeah. And it was just like a bunch of fucking hate towards me. And then one day I met him, and he was overweight too. And I was like, "Hey, you'd imagine you'd know how that feels." And he'd be like, it's "Funny, right?" And you're like, "You could have just hit, been nice a couple times." Yeah. Like some of them were funny. Some of them were really funny, yeah. but some of them were like, some of them, I'd say the same. I, I look, I could go through a bunch of names. We got a bunch of fans that are like, uh, creators that are around us. And sometimes they'll post stuff and, and it's crazy because it's like you, you go, I, it's why I stay off of, I stay off of reading all that shit. 
Does I'll know they're a fan. Yeah. I'll know they're a fan. I will have had them at my shows. I will have had them backstage at my shows. And then they'll they'll make like the meanest thing that they think is funny and other people find hilarious. But then I see it and I go, hey. oh, that was, I didn't need to see that today. Yeah. I, I, I think, I remember, I remember one guy reached out to work, work with us. He was like a uh, YouTube or a yeah, creator. Like a meme guy. And he reached out and I, and I had only seen it like the last month. He had been, just been brutal to me. And it's, it's funny. Look, I'm not saying like, I got a sense of humor about it too, but I, a lot of times if it's, if it, if it is you, you can get a little sensitive to it because yeah. if it's day every day, that's the same thing. And so then I said, why the fuck would I ever want to work with that guy? Yeah. And then they were like, I think he's confused. He thinks he's celebrating you. And I was like, I could see that too. And it's, so it's, it's a fine line. You can always just be nice. And then I'll be nice, really nice back. Yeah. And we could have that be our communication. Yeah. But let's meet this lying squirter. Let me see. I'm joking, Steph. I'm joking. I just did what I said not to do. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. It is so easy to get caught up in what everyone else needs from you and never take a moment to think about what you need from yourself. This happens to Leanne. I watch Leanne do it. She goes around like a bulldog around our house, taking girls to school, making sure my appointments are all lined up, making sure that I'm in therapy. Look, when we spend all of our time giving, it can leave us feeling stretched thin and burned out. Therapy can give you the tools to find more balance in your life so you can keep supporting others without leaving yourself behind. The other day at, at the premiere, I said to Leanne, the next morning I said, you need to schedule a therapy appointment. And she was like, you're right, you're right, you're right. If you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists at any time for no additional char charge. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Bears today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Bears. We are supported by NASCAR. This week, NASCAR is headed to the Honky Tonk. Some of the best drivers in the world will descend on Nashville, Tennessee this weekend to kick off the second half of NASCAR's 75th anniversary season. The sweet tune of country music, the distance will fuel next-gen cars as they rip up 400 miles at Nashville Super Speedway, each lap edging closer to the highly anticipated 2023 NASCAR playoffs. There's only a handful more spots available for drivers to secure their spot in the postseason and compete for a shot at the 2023 NASCAR championship in Phoenix this fall. Now that summer is finally here, get the grill ripping, invite the crew over for a couple cold beverages, and don't miss out on your chance to witness history by tuning in to the Ally 400 on Sunday, June 25th on NBC. Hello? Hey, Steph, it's Tom. How are you? How, good. How the hell are you? I'm hey, well. Ask her if she knows uh, who I am. Uh, do you, okay. Do you know who Burt Kreischer is? Yeah, I know who Burt okay, Kreischer okay, is. Okay, okay, okay. You're on. You're on. <laughs> he he well, told me know, to ask. I don't know, I know who she is, but I don't know if she knows well, who I am. We're, we're on, you're on Two Bears, One Cave right now. And okay. and um, the reason I called you, because I, I we were talking, he's like, squirting is made up. Uh, it's how come it's not in uh, the literature of the 1500s? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let, let me defend Steph so she has a way out. Okay, okay, Steph. Okay, I understand. My thing was you're a comic. You're on a podcast. Everything is about fun. But I have I've never met a squirter, and I feel like squirting showed up like eight years ago. And so I don't know how come none of us knew mo our moms that squirted <laughs> and our aunts that squirted. How come there's no historical? Eleanor Roosevelt never squirted. <laughs> you think well, Helen Keller would be a squirter? Well, Steph. Have you ever asked your mother if you've. If you've that, this is what I said. <laughs> I said, let's call. I told him, let's call your mom. He was like, absolutely not. You'd think that would be something you'd notice or your dad would bring up. Like, oh, your mom's fucking, <laughs> my face is dripping. Well, I don't, well, I don't want to say this now because now this might be rude. Maybe Bert's dick isn't that big. And it's I didn't fuck my mom. Well, but, hold on. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> wait, let's go back here because. First of all, wait, Sam, wait, wait, accurate wait. assessment is not that big. It's not that, wait. Okay, 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 okay. 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 So is it hard? Just, it is hard. It's, really it's hard. rock hard. It's, I'm, I'm on it. testosterone. I've, I've, okay, I've, okay. I've held it and it's pretty hard. Um, okay. So. <laughs> 
because you are the because I was trying to I was like who who did I just talk to, and you brought up you're like I've I've egg squirter and but egg you've squirter. said to me you told us because we were talking about what it is and you said you go I've gone I've gone to the bathroom been completely empty bladder and then had uh-huh. sex and a huge squirter so so a what I'm led to believe first of all is just from deduced from what you said is that it has to have a guy has to have a huge dick to elicit this. No, no, okay. it has. There's, there's a button in it. There's a spot right in there, so it, okay. it, it, it can come from fingering as well. But there's like an inner up spot that okay. really gets it going. Okay. So maybe Burt has never found that button before, but okay. once you find a squirter that does have it, does, does Burt want me to prove it to him? I think yeah. so. He, yeah. he 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 does. He actually yeah, does. I he, actually he, do. he goes. I, I want someone not on a podcast to pull me aside and be like, "Hey, pal, check out how this works." No, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Steph, Steph. Okay, here's my question: Were you a squirter before this whole squirting phenomenon was around? I squirted for the first time 10 years ago. So, so like 11 years ago, I was 27. So yes. Right. So okay. I squirted for the, so, yeah. Okay. Okay. Did so something right on change? the cusp. Right on the cusp of when we got introduced yeah. to yeah. squirting. She is a pioneer. Squirting. She is a pioneer. I okay. Am. Okay. You're a four. I don't like to brag, but I was the first person to ever squirt. But, I, you know, I don't like to really rub that in. So, okay. Before you were squirting, did, is there something that happened to you where you went, where you heard about squirting and you go, oh shit, I wonder if that's happening to me. I'm going to let it go of it. Yes, because everyone says it feels like you're going to pee. And then when you just like let that pass for a second. So if you've been with a girl and you think that she says, I'm going to pee, it's probably not pee, it's probably squirt. Yeah, so I was so with somebody on. I was with somebody who one time said, oh my God, and, and this it feels like I'm going to pee. And everything was um, like, you know, getting wet all around us. And then, but she asked me to stop, you know? Uh, hang yes. on. I was with a woman. That I ended up marrying <laughs> yeah. that said the same thing. When Leanne and I first started dating, yeah. she would say, It feels like I'm going to pee and ask me to stop. Then, okay. then that's a squirt. She, then you have to let her keep going. She must finish that. that so that so, so there's so a little rape. Right so there is. That is, it is like a, yeah, it is a feeling. But now, like, I don't feel anymore. But when I first started to, I thought it was piss because I think it comes out of the same hole. And then, so when it's you, very confusing. when you first, when you very first did this, you go, it feels like I got to pee. And then you go, I'm just going to let it go. And then did it actually like shoot out or just like kind of, you know, whatever. The first drip. time it kind of like came out, but yeah. now I've seen it. I can shoot it like kind of like a, a water fountain in middle school. Like the little elementary wow. school. Wow. Like trickle up. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, that's the and they, worst. They, 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 they lick it up like a little, like they're like. They're on their tippy toes, like licking it, like trying to get some water. It's <laughs> <laughs> a little, little tinkle lick. Um, <laughs> as I was saying to you, it, it's sometimes too much. Like I need to lie a tarp down because now it's like it's the whole bed. It got my eye last week. It's, it's a bit of an ordeal. So do you, honestly, this, do okay, you feel? On. Wait, one thing. Are you? Do you feel you're in? Are you in com- complete control of it? In other words, can you still have a good time? And and if you and just uh, you know not do that, or does it? Is it? come with having a good time for you? Like, in other words, you know I what I mean? I think, so, yeah, sometimes, if I, no, no, sometimes I can really push it out. Uh-huh. And if, if I can tell a guy likes it, I can really give him the old business. But uh-huh. sometimes, if I if the guy sucks in bed, I don't want him to think that it's good, so I don't do it. So you don't do it, okay. Wow. <laughs> you know what? I gotta I be dead on with you. Sure, I get it. Steph, you have absolutely turned me around 180 degrees on squirting. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Because good, good, I, good, believe, good, good. I believe, I believe, I believe this is, this is almost like the way that like uh, all the kids are gay now uh-huh. is like it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't socially acceptable to be a squirter when you were uh-huh. Martha Washington because you're like, oh, I don't want to pee in my man's dentures. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I'm going to yeah, pee. Yeah, yeah, and then it. all it takes is one person to go and Steph, Yo, let it happen. Yeah. It turns yeah. them on. And Steph, if you don't take this opportunity to one day just tap a bird on the shoulder and surprise him with a squirt to the face and then be like, bro, I can't, I that can't. was real. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I wish I was at the premiere and I would just stand up and just start squirting all over him. Right. That after would be amazing. I'd be like, there you go. Congratulations on the movie. And congratulations <laughs> on the Steph, you, I don't, I gotta be dead honest with you. I don't think I've had a hotter conversation with a woman in 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> Oddly enough, that's when she first started squirting. So yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. yeah exactly. I do you think, I think you're bullet. right. When I, when I started dating Leanne 20 years ago, Jesus Christ. Yeah. You guys and I remember, old. I remember I would, I remember we would have sex and she would feel like she had to pee and she'd make me stop. Yeah. And I was like, you got to tell her tonight. <coughs> no. Let that tell thing her, go. Go home and let her piss on you. Oh my God. I can't fucking but wait. Squirt. If yeah. I get Leanne to squirt. Yeah. That's like getting a dog that can fetch and go get you beers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, okay. Okay. Interesting analogy. Uh, but yeah. Uh, okay. Thank you. Well, look. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for for uh, answering and, and and filling us in on this. And I'm glad we were able to. Uh, yeah. Hey, make, Steph, come on my podcast. Come on his podcast. Oh my god, please! I would love to. All right, I have god, your number. Whatever. Okay. I'm going to text you my number right now. Okay. Okay. Great. Thanks, Steph. Thank you. Okay. Have bye-bye. fun, boys. Bye. 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 All right. Um. Well, yo, put, can you put her number back up there? I'll send it to you if you want. I want to make sure I'm clear that, like, all those people that make, like, sometimes mean memes. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I I, I get, I, I don't mean to sound shitty, like, go, don't do it, it hurts my feelings. Trust me, I got pretty thick skin. And, I, and you know, you can know because you've seen, like, there's a woman that does them. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, even from her, I go, God, you're a chick. And yeah. you go there. Yeah, like, chicks still usually don't go as hard as the guys do. The think. guys go really fucking hard. And I got thick skin. I don't want to, I, I definitely... I don't want to say that I don't appreciate you enjoying the podcast or enjoying our inside jokes and enjoying them, you know, but I just, I don't know. I was just well, trying to, I was trying to comment on the one guy that fucking, I know. I think the, the thing is too, we first discovered this on, uh, oh yeah, there's that one that she made. Um, who's that Heather fakes it. Yeah. Yeah. That's who I was talking about actually. Yeah. And that's yeah. so funny. Yeah, yeah. That's who I was talking about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she's a really nice person. She yeah. is. She is. I think I've DM'd with her before, but, she, but, uh, that is a really good, poster yeah those don't make those i don't mind that as much like i don't mind i don't know like i, I can't really identify the ones like there was one that really like hurt yeah and you're like you're like Ooh. did i tell you what we identified during the weight loss thing what's that was that we give each other because we're friends a lot of shit right like that's yeah, part, yeah. But because the, but that's not unlike any other friends in the world like uh, you know you, you bust your friend's ball yeah but it was weird to bust each other's balls and then be in an airport and then have one be like hey fat fuck can yeah. i get a picture and you're like uh like i don't know you man i had a woman i told you i had a woman one time come up to me at an airport who was probably 500 400 pounds and call me the fattest man in the world and i went i just i it was kind of caught me off guard because it was, it was first of all I'm in a bar. I think it was the Dallas airport and no one around under got the inside joke. Yeah. And they were like, and she was laughing hysterically. Part of me was like, like, I don't, I don't mind it. I like, I get it. Yeah. I, I get it. And I get it coming from her. That's, you know, I, I didn't mind it. But part of me was like, you know how that would make you feel like, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Specifically, specifically how that would make you feel. Do you remember the guy Ramsey, the comedian Ramsey? Yeah. He was a huge guy. He had a heart he's, attack. He's dead. Yeah. He, um, he, uh, no, it's him. not him. Um, wow. Wait, Ramsey's been dead so long. He's not even in Google searches to ty- type like overweight or fat or something. Um, Ramsey, what was his last name? Ramsey. No. Oh, oh man. man, man. He's not even in any of these. He was a sweet guy. Ramsey Moore. There he, he is. He died in 2016, 2015. Ramsey he died Moore. walking to his car. Uh, that's him. Where? Oh, yeah, that's that picture, him right there. Yeah. That second picture there. That's yeah. him. Um, he had a heart attack walking to his car. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ramsey Moore. Well, he... Um, it is funny you say... Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no. I Ryan Sickler told me one time that he was like... He is... I think he was walking... I don't remember if he was... Uh, at going to the store or something like that, but he walked by this car that Ramsey was like leaning on, and Ramsey goes, "Ryan, I haven't seen you at the gym, man. Looks like you're letting yourself go a little bit." And Ryan was like, "Are there? Is there a fucking? <laughs> is this a hidden camera thing?" And he and he, he was totally serious. Yeah, you know? he was like, "If you stop, if you don't watch it, you know, you're gonna gain weight." And he was like, "What the fuck?" He's like 26 when he died, right? That young? I think so. How old was he? Uh, go back to the... No, just go back to the Ramsey Moore. And, uh, yeah. And uh, he was... Uh, yeah, let's see. He was a really sweet guy. Hit that Palm Beach Daily News. Yeah. I knew him pretty well, too. You did? Yeah, pretty well. He was a worker, there? too. He he worked a lot. Like, he was always out. He was 44. Seven? Yeah. Oh wow. He's he really, but he was really big. He was really big. 
Yeah, it's it's interesting. It's an interesting place to be is when people, you know, one of the things um, Victoria did with the movie, cause she's pretty slick with social media. Yeah. Is she was like, yo, there's people that don't like you that enjoy are enjoying the movie. And their comments are, I don't like Bert, but I like the movie. Yeah. And you're like, good, that's what you want to do. You know, yeah, I, yeah. I don't. I don't expect everyone's going to like me. I know there's a lot of people that don't like me. I mean, it sucks because my whole thing is I want everyone to like me. But I think it's it does get confusing because it's you're right. It's like me and you make jokes about each other, and then people are like, "This will be fun." Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I, I get it. I mean, maybe we're part. It's we're to blame. Oh, we're definitely part to blame. Yeah. We built the fucking we built the house with the fireplace on the outside, and now it's burning on the inside at times. And you're like, "Oh fuck, how do we get out of here?" Yeah, and you're yeah. like, "Ah, it's not that bad." <laughs> It's not that bad. <laughs> yeah, no, we are to blame. Um, it's funny because I, I make jokes about you. I'll make jokes about you. I did it on Rich Eisen, mm-hmm. and people, and I, it'll confuse people because they'll be like, "Wait, are you guys friends?" Oh, right, yeah. And you're like, "Yeah, no, it's but it's you know it's what we do." And then someone's like, "Yeah, fuck that guy." And you're like, "No, no, no, that's not the thing. Yeah, you're yeah. missing the point of the joke. <laughs> you're missing the point. Not that wasn't on Rich Eisen, but like people yeah. do that, and they're like, oh, yeah. yeah, fuck him.'" And you're like, "No, that's that's you're missing it. You, you, it's like it's uh it's like uh, when you tell a." Someone asked me this the other day. They go, How, "What's your responsibility when you tell a joke about race?" I don't really do that. I don't really do that at all anymore. I used to when I was younger. Yeah, um, but I just I lost interest. It wasn't where my my creativity was landing. It, was, it wasn't what I was like. I didn't want to. I didn't. It just wasn't as fun to me as it was when I was younger. But like, what was your responsibility when you told a joke about race, and then people laugh for the wrong reasons? And because oh yeah, and I've had that before where you have a great joke. I have too. And you're like. Oh, uh, I have a joke in Razzle Dazzle. I was talking to a, a journalist about this. Uh, I have a joke in Razzle Dazzle about uh, uptight parents in LA. Yeah. But it's about the whole uh, gender issue. And my joke is mocking uptightness. But what if people misinterpret that and they laugh for the wrong reasons? And you're like, yeah, fuck, man. I don't know how to handle that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. Well, I remember, I remember too. I remember one time I did. Um this is again like years ago. I had I I talked about race more for sure. Why did and, we do it when we were younger? Because it was just dangerous. Yeah, part of it's because it's dangerous, and that and it feels like it's you're taking a risk, and that's it, that's fun. I mean, you know, taking risks is still fun, but I think I think also you get some of those. You you do some of those, then you're like, well, if it's not coming to me, then I'm like seeking it out, and that doesn't feel like you don't want to be like seeking it. So like. You do it because it's part, like, it's universal. Race is universal. But you, once you've done, like, some bits about it, you kind of have done them. Yeah. And then, you know, it, you do them again if it feels like it's genuine to you. Mm-hmm. But I remember doing, like, doing those bits and then, like, being in these clubs and, you know, get off stage and then, like, this group of guys come over to you and they're like, oh, man, we got some jokes we want to tell you. And you're like, oh, really? Oh, my God. And then they just start doing, like, you know, joke book jokes, but just, like, racist ones. And you're like... Uh, I think you guys missed. Yeah, I'm like that's what not what I was doing up there, and they're guys. Like, I made souffle, not ice cream. Yeah, yeah, and you're like this is not, and they're like, all right, well, it was good to meet you. And you're like, it wasn't good to meet yeah, you. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, that was just straight up. The best hateful. is when the best, and I maybe if, I wonder if this is it. The best is when a, a black dude would come up loving him. Yeah, 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 and he'd be like, dude, yeah, that fucking baby powder joke. Yeah, and you're like, oh, thanks. Yeah, and then you get some white guy doing the total wrong reason totally wrong you know what it was for me i i just realized i says we're talking about it no one ever those were never people's favorite jokes that they come up to me right they never like they were never the one that anyone mentioned it was always some joke i didn't expect and i think i started going like oh i think that's in finding your voice you know yeah whether men can't find the right brand or simply lack the knowledge and understanding of it skincare is something that requires attention luckily men's skincare has never been easier with Caldera Lab. Clinically proven to reduce wrinkles, fine lines, and signs of aging, Caldera Lab is the leader in men's skincare, and here it is here to save the day. Use our exclusive code BEARS at calderalab.com to enjoy 20% off their best products. This, in my opinion, is their best product. It's the Icon. I rubbed it under my eyes before I died, loaded my eyes up before I went to bed. And look how young I look. Caldera Lab creates high-performance men's skincare products, and the regiment leads off with their product lineup, which includes the Clean Slate, the Base Layer, and the Good. The Clean Slate starts and ends your day. The Base Layer is your daily moisturizer. The Good is your go-to before-bed multifunctional serum that helps your skin look tighter and smoother. Get 20% off 
with the code BEARS at calderalab.com. That's 20% off at calderalab.com by using the code BEARS. Take your health to the next level in skincare with Caldera Lab. Somebody asked me about, they're like, oh, how do you, how do you find your, um, they go, do you, do, you, do you get taught how to develop a comedic persona? And I was like, no. Yeah. Like, so how does it happen? I'm like, you just do it. You just perform a lot. And then who you are just kind of comes out of that, you know? Like you don't actually get taught. This is my persona. You perform thousands of times. Do you know that the uh, prime minister of Japan during World War II was last name Sugura? Um, maybe with a K. No. 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 It's Sugura. It's so really? funny. I saw your joke. One of your jokes popped up on my Instagram feed. Yeah. Don't get it wrong, guys. I'm all over my Instagram feed. Okay. I am fucking thick. Uh. No. It's Sugura. It's Sugura. It's not Tojo. It's Sugura. No, uh, don't type in. T- take out. Take out Prime Minister. I it, it, fucking. I, I knew Tojo was a Prime Minister. I was just trying to make it shorter. Okay. Type in uh, Japanese Sugura. Okay. Manuel Sugura. Uh, Colonel of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. No. No, okay. I just heard it in a fucking podcast. Okay. But it was funny because you it have a probably joke. is S A K though. Oh, Sakura? Yeah, Sakura. Yeah. Oh. Hey. They said it in the podcast and I said I thought it was I thought it was Sagura. That's so funny. Yeah. There you go. Oh, that's a Well Matsu class destroyer there. I listen to podcasts while I'm sleeping. Yeah, that's so, probably why you got it wrong. Yeah, I'm not that good at uh the Japanese destroyer Sakura. I started doing Japanese language lessons. Oh, just so you can do the accent. Uh, yeah. And um, man, that is, it really, <laughs> I mean, like every other language that I've ever tried to like, you know, take some lessons on, you have like some shared root. Wait, so it. how many la- languages are you deep in? You got Italian? I The ones that I do on the apps are Italian, French, and now Japanese. But Japanese feels like you are just making shit up i mean there's like one of the one of the letters is hmm. no <laughs> yeah i swear to god I shut up hmm. like that and then they're like pick the right letter <laughs> you're like hmm. it's shut like shut the fuck yeah, up guttural sounds we'll learn japanese you fucking do it so you think yeah. you're gonna teach how to write it like in the calligraphy and stuff yeah yeah i mean they they give you a lot because they know if if they just did it if they tried to teach you um in 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 Babel, how to just if they went about it the way they try to teach you Jap or French and yeah. Italian, you would just be like, I this is not happening. So, so they, get, we, they give you a lot more assistance. All right, let's list them. You're on an island with a person from a different country, and you don't speak the same language. Yeah. Who do you think you would learn their language the quickest, and who do you think it would take the longest to learn? Well, listen, you are taking the longest. You, you everyone is taking the longest to learn Japanese. There's not a share like. There's nothing shared. There's nothing shared. They don't I mean, even the same numbers. It's comp- it's listen. It is a whole other planet. It is like it's it's like a, it's, it, it, does, like, it makes sense. It makes be sense. meeting somebody who had, who who's like not male or female, and you're like, wait, what? Okay, what's like, closer, Japanese and Chinese, or Japanese and English? It's got to be Japanese, and Chinese. Type in how close Japanese and Chinese are to each other. That, They've got to be, I, I had a joke about it. They've got to be kind of close, I remember right? your joke about it. I remember your joke about it. And I thought that was a really funny joke, man. I remember that was a that. true story. It happened with I Dr. Remember, Ken. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see if there's, at first glance, it might seem that Japanese are descended from the Chinese, but that's not the case. Despite certain similarities, these two languages are vastly distinct. Each of them has its own set of complexities that may differ from one another. Yeah. See which one? Can people who speak Chinese understand Japanese? <laughs> they aren't even the same language family. Yeah. Uh, wait. The closest language may be Korean. Really? To, to Japanese? Yeah. No, to, to Japanese. Chinese. Wait. Chinese has many different dialects. Yeah. Okay. You know, hang on. Hang on one second. Hold on. Yeah. You know, China has one time zone? For the whole. For the whole goddamn country. Ohio. Ohio. That's good morning. I thought you were going to go OH. No. That would be a fun way to say good morning. I just said good morning. Ohio. Ohio. That would be a fun way to say good morning in Japan. OH. Konnichiwa. I know that one. Everyone knows that one. Aka. Red. 
the that, color red. Are these Japanese words? Yeah, Japanese words. I'm going to learn Chinese. Let's do a challenge. Who can learn a different language quicker? Okay, I'll win. I, well, I, you got to remember, I picked up Russian pretty quickly. Yeah. What's hard to learn, Chinese or Japanese? Mm, they're both really hard. What, what are the hardest languages to learn? Do that. What are the hardest languages to learn? Hold on. For sure, they're both in that list. Hungarian. Serbian. Bulgarian. Albanian. Turkish, Farsi, Greek, Russian. Not even. Here, look. 15 hardest languages to learn. Hit that. Not even. Yeah. Hungarian. It's, Why Hungarian? Oh, dude. It is brutal. It's not, there's n nothing that they say makes you go like, oh, I have an idea of what's going on there. For real? No. So the word, so uh, I know Serbian in the, the word for my personality yeah. is like dangerously unpredictable. Yeah. <laughs> and so that would translate into really yeah. bad scenarios. Okay. So like when we were to, we'd do a scene where, where Eva had her, was like in like a, like a locked box. Yeah. Where it's hard to explain, but Eva's, Eva couldn't move. Okay. And in explaining the scene to her, someone was like, you and this dangerously unpredictable man will be, you'll be locked up and this dangerously unpredictable man will be on top of you and you won't be able to move with this dangerous. And she kept saying it so much. She's like, I don't want to do it. And then I was like, oh no, I'm just like, I'm spontaneous. Yeah, yeah. And th they didn't have that word. Yeah, a lot of these, let's see. What does it say? Despite its complexities, Hungarian is a beautiful creative language, some amazingly descriptive words that don't exist in English. For instance, uh, what a high is it, whatever, describes the feeling you get when something you cannot pinpoint is missing. And korbrum is when you feel happy about someone else's misfortune. <laughs> That's very Hungarian. Uh, it's also That's a gender neutral language. Um, and they also, yeah, yeah. Gender neutral? Well, they also outlaw gender studies in the universities there. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. That's yeah, interesting. That is interesting. Seems very Hungarian of them. Uh, yeah. Bulgarian, Slavic language. Um, uh, like Russian, it uses a... Cyrillic alphabet. Which can seem a bit intimidating to those unfamiliar with it. Tricky for English speakers. Yeah. I mean, the funny thing, I was in, I was in Hungary for this yeah. tour and th that I just wrapped up and like... I know a few Hungarian sayings, right? Yeah. So, and words that I've, you know, heard for years. So the first time I'm in the car and this guy like backs out and not looking, our driver honks. And then I go, oh, gapish. And she goes, what? And I go, gapish. And she's like, what is this? And I go, isn't it gapish? And I was, she was like, I don't know what you're saying. I go, I thought that was like fucking idiot. And she goes, oh, yapish. And I was like, what the yeah. fuck? So like, to like I'm, tonally, I wasn't doing it right. <laughs> Same thing for like, what's up is michinas, right? So I saw these people that. I guess that way, but I guess you were, if you were like, you're like, uh, look at those homos. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You'd that, be that's, like, huh? Yeah, I don't have the ear to yeah, do. Yeah. So I go, homos. michinas. And they're like, what is michinas? And I was like, I thought it was like, what's up? And they're like, oh, michinas. I was like, all right. So, okay. so run through the list. Serbian. Serbians next. English has got to be on here. Albanian. Albanian. Man, it's funny. Albanians and Serbians hate each other. Turkish. Farsi. Farsi. Yeah, that's a tough one. Uh, How do I Salome. say it? Remember that? <laughs> Greek. Greek. Greek is funny because if you, if you have, if you're used to hearing Latin root things, you hear Greek being spoken quickly by natives and you're like, oh, <laughs> And you think you're hearing somebody maybe speak like Italian, or you're like, "Oh, is that?" But, and then you you dial in, you're like, "Oh, it it's 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 actually yeah, because it sounds it see it sounds like Spanish French. It's quickly, but you just you then you realize you're like, "Oh, this is foreign to me." Like I, I haven't I'm not used to hearing people speak this. Russian is on the list. Difficult Hindi. Fuck. Fuck. We should do a challenge. Hold on, let's let's finish the list and then we'll do the challenge. Hindi. Keep going. Vietnamese, yeah. Thai, Oof. keep going. Korean, Japanese. Japanese. Where, where no white people? Mandarin Chinese. Oh, Arabic. I guess the whole front oh, is white. Okay, so if we're if this is really the correct order, then the easiest of the hard languages to learn is Arabic. So why don't we try to have we'll study Arabic for three months and try to have a Arabic conversation. 
How do you? What? How do we even study Arabic? We get we get on the apps and we 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 start doing it on okay. there. Okay, so we'll see if we can do one. Well, here's what I think. Yeah, we should pick. So, say we were going to start like uh, maybe we're going to start like a, a thing together, right? Like, inshallah. Go ahead. Oh. Yep, that's Arabic. <laughs> Wait, Nadav, can you speak Arabic? Uh, I know a couple curse words. Oh, for real? Like? Kusemek. Which is? Your mom's pussy. Nice. That's pretty much it. Um, what, what we should do is we should find out who's got the most amount of people, learn their language, and then translate and do brand deals. <laughs> Brand deals for like clothes. Well, I can tell you the stuff. you can you can turn the polls off because I believe China has the most people. So if you want to, oh, for real. oh yeah, yeah, they do yeah a if lot you want to do people, but you you, you got well, you got to be white. You know they didn't they didn't, they didn't even let the Little Mermaid in because she was black. What? Yeah. What like, do you mean? Google that. They don't let black people in their movies. How come? They go. We don't like them. Wait, uh, they don't let black people in what movies? In their movies. In the Chinese Chinese movies. movies. I did not know this is real. Like if, yeah, if if you they won't if you have a black person on the cover of your thing, they're, they're like, like, nah, no. It's crazy because like LeBron's a big supporter of China. Yeah, you know, the racist response online. <laughs> Maybe the Chinese are still not used to a film full of black people. <laughs> Upcoming, unpacking the booming racist video industry in China. Why is Black Adam banned in China? Okay. Yeah, because yeah, so, they some... don't want, they do not like. Uh, Pierce Brosnan. Oh, he probably, if you say anything about, if you have a. Fuck, there goes the machine in China. Really? Yes. I just fucked that up. How come? Well, I just talk shit about China. Yeah, they don't like that. They do not like that. Um, what China... was the thing you said before, though? I don't know. Um, the, the thing you were about to Google. That no black people are in Chinese. The black uh, type in type in Little Mermaid China. Yeah, that that's the one. Yeah, I just heard. I just someone said it's getting is opening weekend in China with disappointment, confirming previous estimates. Yeah, this is the okay. biggest movie in the world, and they and it didn't do well in China because they're like, ah. Oh, so shit. Little Mermaid's black. Yeah. How much? Did, okay, what is it? What's the drop down there? How much did it make? Oof! I made more than Little Mermaid in China. Really? By a lot. What'd you make in China? I don't see what see how much the machine made in China. We didn't we didn't open in China. We didn't oh, open in China. Oh. We only opened in English speaking languages. Oh. Countries. Um I did way better so in So they China. just didn't they just didn't go there. They just don't want to see it. Bro, let's do this, Tom. Let's mm. do this. You ready? Let's do let's do a movie where me and you Learn Arabic. No, 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 no. Oh. It's me and you with a bunch of Chinese people who are all the heroes, right? Oh, to to just so we get badass Chinese people in it. Yeah, and 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 like we're the American fools, fat American fools, and then these are they're the cool Chinese people who do everything really cool, and then and then it'll work here because we it's American people, and yeah. then it's gonna work really big there because yeah. it's Chinese people winning. Yeah, I like the idea of us doing a, a film that caters to the Chinese audience. Yeah, I think we need to cater to the biggest foreign markets chinese and we just we need to make an international movie with a with like a, a, a farsi dude are you <coughs> are you down to try to learn um arabic though fuck yeah i'll learn arabic yeah oh fuck yeah i'll learn arabic what's the what's what like, are some popular arabic phrases uh more hummus please oh no thank you i don't want to be beheaded okay um there you go Shukran, wait, wait. shukran, thank you. What is, hang on, what is, where is Arabic? Who speaks Arabic? <laughs> it's not people that behead you? Well, I mean, it, it's happened there, sure. Saudi Arabia. They speak Arabic? Yeah. In Saudi Arabia? Yeah. Fuck yeah, let's turn Arabic. Water. Man. Egypt? Ha, Habibibi. Habibi. Jo Jordan. 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 Uh, Morocco. For real, all those people speak Arabic. Sure, and then Iraq just goes Farsi for no reason at all. Well, Iran they speak Farsi, and so and then <coughs> there's there's Arabic spoken in parts of uh, 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 Iraq for sure. Yeah, Arabic and Kurdish is mm. Iraq Iraqi and Arabic language. 
Um, where's the list of countries uh, where it's spoken? I think we need to reverse engineer this and find out what countries have the hottest chicks. Here you go. This is the full list where you can speak Arabic, dude. Oh, that's it. Tunisia. Yeah. United Arab Emirates. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yemen, Saudi Arabia, Somali, Sudan, Syria, Libya, all the places that do not like what me and you look like. Yeah. Like if we went on vacation there and like in our outfits. Yeah, but guess what? What? The second you started Bang with Arabic. Bang out with some Arabic. It'd be like, oh shit. What's they up, fucking fellas? hate that they think you, they, you would not make that effort. Hey, fellas, I'm looking to buy a monkey. There you go. Like, they're like, we have plenty of monkeys. Okay, go English to Arabic translation. What's up, fellas? I'm looking to buy a monkey. Also. All right, type in. Hi, fellas. Hi, guys. Just type in hi, guys. Comma. I'm looking to buy a monkey. And then hit the sound there. Marhaban, ya rifaqa. I feel like I don't know what to order. <laughs> I feel like it's all good here, but I don't know what to order. All right, let's just let's just let's just short it up to I want monkey. There you go. Here we go. Oh, easy. Easy. Iri do kordan. 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 I want monkey. Type in I want pussy. There you go. Iri do kesan. Iri is I want. Iri do kesan. Iri do kusan. I want monkey. I want monkey. I want monkey pussy. <laughs> well, <that's laughs> just, <laughs> these are going to be clipped out in of in in Yemen, yeah. and they'll be like, "These guys want monkey pussy." <laughs> uh, Nadav, type this in, everybody. Go ahead. <laughs> Why do Jews control the weather? <laughs> this is too good. <laughs> this is the first time there's a bunch of Arab people going, huh, "Yeah." Oh, yeah, yeah, you know. Oh fuck, that's great. Yeah. Why did Jews control the weather? It is a thing, right? Why did Jews control the weather? Uh, they have. I'll tell you, they've been really nice here. It's, they have not turned the heat up yet. Really? Yeah. So far, they must be happy because it's been pretty nice here in Austin. What did I just? I just got into a really anti-Semitic conversation with someone the other day <laughs> with a bunch of Jewish people. And we were trying to break something down. Yeah. It was it was a really interesting conversation. Really? I love, I love when you get into those conversations. Talking about the hot like, button when, topics. Yeah, like when I love those conversations. They're so much fun. <clears throat> but then you know, then you can you gotta make sure everyone's represented. And one of the persons that people didn't look Jewish. Yeah. <clears throat> and I kept I was saying, <clears throat> he's Jewish. He didn't look like Nadav. He did not. Well Nadav doesn't look Jewish. <laughs> okay. What are you talking about? Okay, you do when you say it like that. I forget. You look like a. You look like a. You look like the an Irish guy who can dance. Patty O'Callaghan. Go Mike, ahead. Yeah. So what happened in this conversation? I forget. I can't remember. I was high. I was partying pretty hard Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. That's the day after the premiere. Day after no, the premiere. Two days after. Sorry. Two days after, I was partying pretty fucking hard, and I partied in the Sunday. <coughs> I was working too. You sound. Are you going to take it easy the rest of today? Today I'm going to go. I got to go to movie theaters right now. And say hi to people buying tickets, and then uh, and then I'm gonna take Nyquil, and I'm gonna sleep like a motherfucker. You should get some rest, dude. <coughs> I'm not as sick as I thought I'd be. Really? Leanne got in my fucking head. I had an allergy attack yesterday, and she was like, uh, she was like, "How you're getting sick?" And I was like, "I'm not getting sick." And then I went to bed that night. And I was like, "I'm fucking cunt. I'm getting sick." Yeah. She brought it up. Her fault. She made this happen. Why'd I'm you do that? <coughs> and so. I feel better today uh, than I thought I was going to feel. Didn't drink on the plane this morning. Slept on the plane. Never happens. Never happens. And then uh, listen to listen to Drink Champs with Trick Daddy again. Again. Do you know what boot is? Boot? Boot. What? <coughs> uh, it's a blunt with cocaine in it. 
Have you done that? You be- Can I put on a blunt? I have actually. Blunt uh, joint with cocaine. Um, Trick Daddy is the president of the Eat a Booty Gang. Eat a Booty did, Gang. Did he talk about that? Uh, it's made, it's what made, it made me think about squirting. Oh, because he started talking about squirting, common drug slang. Okay, what was um, the last time you smoked a boot? It's been a fucking while. Does right? he is he into those? No, he is so funny. I saw an I saw an uh, interview with him one time, and they were like, and they said, uh, "See if you can find it on there." Dude, I bet there would be nothing better than if you were going down to Miami and be like, "Hey, I'm just looking to like have a good time this weekend." And trick yeah. daddy was like, "Come with me," like from from the food you'd eat. At his, like if he cooked out his house to like the places he would take you to party, so the, it, that would be. Here's the thing you got to know about Trick Daddy. That's his town. That's his town. That's yeah. his town. Three hundred five. Like man. he 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 put on he put on Rick Ross. He put on everyone. That's his town. Banano. That's what it says there. Oh, uh, maybe I'm. I thought he called it boot, and so he was doing it. He I think I'm. I could be wrong, but I think he has like lupus or something. Mm-hmm. And they were like, "How's your lupus going? How's the medication?" He goes, "I didn't like the medication. I just been doing boot." And they're like, "What?" And he's like, "You know, cocaine laced with, <laughs> with a cigarette laced with, laced with cocaine." And they're like, "And that?" And he's it's better than the medication. It makes me feel better. And they're like, "Okay." And then on the, on this interview, <laughs> what did he say? What did he say? That's fucking crazy. Uh, back in two thousand, he revealed he was diagnosed with the autoimmune disease, which can create dry, patchy skin as well as other revisible skin problems. I went to the doctor, took all types of tests. He said, "All right." And then, and then, lupus can really affect people's energy. Like they, yeah. a lot of them, I think it's an autoimmune, autoimmune uh, yes. disease. Yeah. And so he said he was doing boot, and then on this episode of Drink Champs, he's like, "Yeah, I stopped doing boot." Like he's like, "I, I just, I think I'm taking the medication now." <laughs> but yeah, Trick Daddy would be a fun dude to fucking. Eat. Oh my god! Like if you, if you, that would be a cool vacation if you could go like spend the morning with Trick Daddy. I want to say I saw a video of him cooking something. It might have been like wings I or something, and they up. were like, um, uh, he was like, these are, and you believe, you watch the video, and you're like, this motherfucker can I cook. could fucking trick, I bet Trick Daddy makes the best. But dude, Trick Daddy wings. Or just cooking, yeah, 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 just cooking, just cooking. I feel like, oh, well, that's him. Oh, look at yeah, this. Yeah, I've his seen jerk that. Chicken oh, jerk pasta. chicken pasta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, there's so much about Trick Daddy that I love. Well, the jerk chicken in, in Miami is like, Second to none. You got all those Caribbean people there. Oh yeah. Yeah. He was that's... talking he was talking about I mean, he's the funniest motherfucker. Yeah. But then you like I keep what we were talking about that earlier. I wonder if Trick Daddy would find us funny. He's probably our age, at least my age. Yeah, around there. Yeah. I bet he likes to drink. For sure. He has to like to drink. Yeah. Yeah, this is when the pasta starts coming out. If yeah, pull yeah. it here. Yeah, this is good stuff. This is all I want. A weekend in, in Miami where Trick Daddy cooks, but then you have to go out after that. You take go to his spots. Hey, how about this? Let's pitch it to Trick Daddy. <laughs> Trick Daddy, can we shoot a video with you when your next album comes out? We'll promote it on Two Bears, One Cave. But we want to come down to Miami. And, to Miami. And we and want to eat with you. We want to spend the whole day with you. Yeah. And we'll, then go out. Yeah, we'll show up at your house at like whatever's comfortable, <laughs> like 10 a.m. You tell us. You tell us. Uh-huh. And then we'll shoot video. You cook us lunch. And then we'll go out partying that night, and we'll promote the album. Done. Yeah, that's a great little fucking... Eat a booty gang. Eat a booty gang. What does he say? Uh, no doo-doo and, and no no pee-pee. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And uh, if, he, if he won't eat your booty, we will. Who would be your favorite rapper to party with? One night. Like one night. Out of, DMX was the fucking man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. DMX was the fucking man. Uh, Method Man, I think, is sober. Is he sober? Yeah, he's. He, there's a great video of him running he's into the. He's fucking jack. I know no, him and Redman. Yeah, because Redman, like that's. I really wanted to just smoke once with with those guys. Fucking dude, get black. I don't think they smoke high. anymore. Really? I don't, I don't think they smoke anymore. Well, they are. They are in, in crazy. They're fifty or fifty two or something, and they're like. They're Method in Man crazy like, fucking shape right now. Yeah, they really are. They're both jacked right now. Um, there's a great video of him running into the Beastie Boys. <laughs> And being like how much he loved the Beastie Boys. And I think everyone's Method Man? Method Man, yeah. Method Man would be a great guy to Method Man would be a good guy to go on a double date with your wife with. Yeah. Because I because he really loves his wife. He's taking acting really seriously now too. Like, Is he really? He was yeah. a great actor. I yeah. rolls dolo from state to state. He's really, really acting in a bunch of stuff now. T- yeah. uh, t- 
I'll tell you who would be fun to party with. And Redman, Redman is uh, skydiving. He's a certified, he's skydiving now. Yeah. I'll tell you who would be fun to party with. Who? Puffy. Well, that would be, that would be like, uh, um, you know, what's it called? Like, I can't think of the turn of the century. What if we did? What if we Great did? Great Gatsby shit. Like he is, <laughs> he's a legit billionaire and he throws like the parties you, you remember for the rest of your life. You know, it's, it, he, th he throws million dollar parties. He, dude, uh, Puff Daddy is, would be a blast to party with. Here's a, what if we did this as a web series? Bert and Tom party with their favorite people. Okay. And we, and the series is. Puff would be fun. Okay. Let's the whole season. First season, 10 people you'd love to party with. Okay. I'm going to put, and, and it's everyone. Puff Daddy would be an amazing one. Gronk would be fun. Yeah. That's another party one. Gronk would be fun. Yeah. Um, Trick Daddy would be great, but I want to go to Rolex, the, the strip club down in Miami. Oh my God. I thought you meant let's go to like Geneva. No. Okay. Trick Daddy, um, who at Puffy, Method Man, put down Mel Gibson. Definitely want to party with Mel Gibson. Yeah. Definitely want to party with Mel Gibson. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of similarities. Because this isn't, I want you to think it's not one thing, single brand. We're covering all the All the partiers. <clears throat> um, who would be, a, who else would be really fun? Like, get us a hockey guy or something. Um, oh, We also need a couple. We need some other, some athletes too. Like who is John Daly? John Daly. John Daly would be a great one. Jordan would be a dream, but I just he, he would. Michael do Jordan it. would be he'd, fun. He'd be, he no, I bet it. we could. I gotta connect. Really? Yeah. That he would say yes. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Smoking cigars, drinking. Away. The guy starts. Jordan likes to party. No, I know that. I here's just the think, problem. Here's yeah. the problem. We're gonna get fucked up because you know his partying ends at the casino, and he doesn't fucking gamble for nothing. Uh no. He's like, here's 250 grand a hand kind of yeah, shit. I can't, I can't be a part of that because I, I just, yeah. I, that's, I, there's no benefit look at for that. Patty rubbing his fucking paws together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at that. Um, uh, Connor McGregor. Connor. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you, I party with, uh, with Izzy. Style, Izzy. Yeah, I would Izzy's, love to. Izzy's a fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Izzy's a party. <clears throat> you, you're lucky. You got them after the fight. Yeah. I got them at camp. Leading up to the fight. Oh, well, no. I got them after the fight, after the victory. Yeah. Well, that's different. Yeah. Oh, dude. You know how our night ended, right? Yeah. 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 Nate Diaz will be fun as fuck. Fuck yes. Nate Diaz. And by the way, Nate, I was joking about me and Tom jumping you. <laughs> but Nate and Nick, if you see us out, watch the fuck out. Ah, uh, dude. I'm joking. I'm joking. Everyone knows I'm a comedian. Oh, what about Mike Tyson? Put Mike Tyson. Yeah. Um, who else? Do any <clears throat> chicks party? No, it's Paris Hilton. What? I party with Paris Hilton. Really? I would. Fuck yeah, I would. Okay. She parties. Really? Yeah. Um. I mean, do we want to go out with Paris Hilton? I I just I thought it was such a strange suggestion, but. Okay, take her off the list. All right. Okay, give us a check then. I'm trying to think of one. Kate Beckinsale. <laughs> she looks like she parties. <laughs> Who's a fucking chick that gets Oh, down? yeah, Madonna, for sure. Oh, Madonna. Madonna. Put Madonna on the yeah. list. Put Madonna on the list. Uh, <laughs> How many you yeah. got right there? That's a plenty. It's a full season. It's a full season. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then and then give me one, like, lunatic woman. A lunatic woman? Like a real lunatic woman. <sighs> like someone where you're like, you're like, like Marjorie Taylor Greene. Uh <laughs> Or you just get her to say wild shit. That's yeah. the whole thing is it's fun when they say wild shit. Sure. Yeah, she'd be a good one. Yeah. She would definitely say some shit. You're like, oh, we're going to lose all our ads. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Sarah Palin would be fucking fun. I don't think she parties. Yeah. But it'd be fun to go stay at her house for the night. <laughs> Watch her clean a moose or something. <laughs> yeah, that'd be kind of Process cool. a moose. <laughs> sure. All right. Sarah Palin would be fun. All right, let's work on this list and we'll get let's, the push. Okay, can you just get us one of these so we can get a pilot? Yeah. Scroll, get us one of these. I scroll we, up again. <clears throat> Dude, I'm telling you, I still think the the fucking one of the most fun things would be those first five are just ridiculous. And Mel Gibson. Oh man. What if we could get all of them to party? Mel together? Mel to take us home. How okay, well, okay, okay. <laughs> let's just say, hypothetically speaking, we fly each of them into one place like we get like a penthouse in vegas right right and so what is the order you want them to come in okay so wait so ready so 
this is we fly in the first person we get into the room is gonna have to be Trick Daddy. Here's my here's my thought. Okay. okay. Trick Daddy, we have him come in first, and we're like, dude, we're huge fans. We talked to him for like ten minutes and really loosen him up. We're gonna have a good time. We got a night plan in Vegas. It's gonna it's gonna go all night long, and then we have a surprise at the end of the night. I'm gonna introduce who else is coming in, and then it's Method Man and Red Man. Now the three of them are like. Oh, this is going to be a fucking blast. Oh, hell yeah. What are these two white guys coming in? And then Mel Gibson comes in. And they're like, oh, wow, who's this guy? And you're like, do you remember the sweet tits comment? And they're like, yeah. And you go, that's Mel Gibson. And then Mel Gibson's like, Mel, he pulls us aside and he's like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. And, then, and then Puffy comes in, right? Well, then it just goes to another level. And then Gronk comes in. Gronk comes in to take us and home. fucking yeah. takes it home. Yeah, yeah. And then our, and we party in Vegas all fucking night. Yeah. I love this show. Oh, it's a good idea, man. It's a fun time. Hey, if there's a, a streamer that wants to help us make it, we'll make it. We'll make or it. Or we can just make it on our own. Yeah. All right, I got to call our boss back. All right. All right, I love you. Love you too. Bye. Bert and Tom, Tom and Bert. One goes topless while the other wears a shirt. Tom tells stories and Bert's the machine. There's not a chance in hell that they'll keep it clean. Here's what we call Two Bears, One Cave. No scripts, a bit of booze, amateur partology, dirty jokes, raunchy humor, no apologies. Here's what we call Two Bears, One Cave.